the beginning of the new year. 2024 is here. That calls for a glow up. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video today. There's no better time to do a glow up than the beginning of the year. Start your year off right, set your mindset to feel good, to feel refreshed, to start the year off confident, just feel overall put together. I might look put together right now, but that's just because I have my hair and makeup done. I need to get my lashes done. We need to get our nails done. Right now I just have these cute little press on nails from Glamnetic. I need to get my toes done desperately. I'm gonna get started with some of my new year goals, share some of my new year resolutions with you guys. A glow up doesn't only mean physically. I feel like if you're taking care of yourself internally, mentally, as well as physically, you feel overall so much better. I also need to do some self tanning because I'm feeling a little pale. And then at the end, I'll tie it all together with hair and makeup. But there's something that I'm really excited to incorporate into this glow up. So I wanna thank Moody Lens for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm gonna be trying on some of the colored contacts that they sent me. If you don't know about Moody Lens, they are all about natural looking, everyday colored contact lenses. They have so many different colors on their website even some fun like creative ones. Color contacts are just so fun in general. Before I tried Moody Lens actually, I had gotten one pair of contact lenses. I had the specific makeup look in mind, a burgundy look, and I was like, this would look so good with like some bluish, blue gray colored contact lenses just to make the burgundy tones pop. I struggled so much getting those contact lenses into my eyeball. I was like, maybe it's just me. Maybe my eyes are too small, maybe my eyes are too sensitive. I don't know. And when Moody sent me these, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it out. You know, no guarantee that this is gonna freaking work for me, but I'm obsessed with them. These colored contacts are so easy to put in and out of your eye. It's freaking insane. They're so small and they fit perfectly in my eye. They're also so much more comfortable than any other contact lenses I've tried. They're manufactured in Taiwan and South Korea, FDA and CE approved. So you know, they're a safe and reliable choice. They come in non-prescription and prescription options, which is a plus. All right, first one we're gonna try on is the Espresso Martini. All the shades I picked out are very natural, everyday looking contact lenses. My favorite colors to wear are usually like hazel, green, maybe like some honey brown tones because I do have dark brown eyes and the most natural looking ones for me I feel like are like the hazel tones. These are the most natural looking brown contact lenses. They're perfect for everyday wear. Basically my eyes but better. Okay, let's pop these in. So here's Espresso Martini. They're so cute it's such a like subtle difference but you can definitely tell my eyes look a little lighter very natural looking lenses very beginner friendly they don't dry out my eyes they feel super comfortable in i actually really like these you're able to go throughout your day like doing your daily activities without having your eyes feel uncomfortable. Okay, next one I'm gonna try on are the amber green ones. They have a greenish hue to them. It's a greenish brown with yellow tint. It blends seamlessly with brown eyes. Here are the amber green. They have a little bit more of like a yellowish hue towards the center part versus the espresso martinis, just like straight up lighter brown. Ooh, okay, son. Moody lenses are also available in different disposables, so you can shop by frequency of use. These two colors that I've tried on have yearly and half yearly options. They're also super easy to take care of. Just gotta store them in fresh solution. Make sure they've been soaked overnight before you pop them in. They also have different options. They're available for daily, monthly, and quarterly use. This is the amber green, a little bit more close up in just natural lighting. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling myself too much in these. Let's try on Golden Memory next. Oh my gosh, Golden Memory. I love these. These are probably my favorite that I've tried on so far. This is what they look like up close. Look how freaking cute. If you guys saw the actual contact, they basically just have like a golden ring around the outer part. They just kind of like blend seamlessly onto your natural eye color. And because my eyes are so dark, it gives it like a grayish, greenish kind of tint to it. I don't know, but I love these. These lenses have three different tones that kind of blend together. I would never switch contact lenses this much, obviously in a day, but even trying these on, like popping them in and out, my eyes don't feel 
feel irritated at all and they just feel so comfortable on last ones we're gonna try on are the tender brown these ones are definitely more of like a warm brownie type of shade let's see what these look like on all right here's tender brown yes tender brown these ones definitely look the most like my natural eye color but they still give my eyes that like lighter hue to them kind of like a soft honey look perfect for everyday use neutral makeup looks i feel like it just adds a little bit of a pop if you check out their website you'll see all the other colors that they have different blues grays greens browns and then of course like fun cool different styles as well if you're messing around with some like special effects makeup and you need a specific look for your eyes they have everything on there you guys can use my code melissa20 i'll have it here and down below in the description box for 20 percent off all colored contacts at moodylenses.com that's code melissa20 for 20 percent off everything will be linked down below the description box let's jump straight into um getting this all put together <laughs> Started jumping, what a day. Swear to God, I need it now. I can't afford to wait. I just had a fan hit me up from Kuwait. Told him this would happen, and we not a minute late. Seen him down bad, now they trying to hate. Same one try to hit me for the raise. Got a mail, now they coming with a place. Chatting numbers, fam, I swear I'm getting paid. I'm a Don, just like the Perrier. It's one time when I'm looking at a face. On the low, like I'm pushing up the base. Told him come down and I'll meet him at a gate Got a check and I bought myself a place They get some money and they blow it on bait I don't flex but I'm pushing all the weight Told him all I swear I got it's what it tastes Phone started jumping what a day Swear to God I need it now I can't afford to wait I just had a fan hit me up from Kuwait Told him this would happen and we not a minute late All right, I'm out of the shower. I'm gonna be trying this self-tanner today. I've never tried it before. It's the Bondi Sands, the Australian Tan Self-Tanning Foam. I got it in the dark shade. For longer lasting darker tan, leave foam on skin for up to six hours. Okay, so I'm gonna start off. Ooh, it smells really good. I already really like how it looks. I exfoliated, I shaved. Self-tanner can be a little bit scary because you don't really know what it's gonna look like until you're done. I think as long as you really go over, smooth everything, just really blend it in, it should be fine. Ooh, it's so smooth. This one blends so seamlessly. I feel like I don't really even have to go over it that many times. Your hands and your toes are the trickiest part. I'm literally taking, I'm gonna take the tiniest bit, like that much, and just kind of like blend it into the mitt a little bit. And I'm just gonna like roughly go over my hand. In between my fingers. And just really, really blend it in. I'm bending my knuckles a little bit. That looks pretty good. neck okay it is way too hard and sketchy doing this on camera so i'm gonna finish off doing this off camera i'll be back once i'm all done you can already tell i got some color going on here it's looking really good super easy to apply it goes on like so smoothly and it also smells really good right now it smells like coconuts so who knows what it's going to smell like after it's fully done i want to leave it on for as long as possible i don't know if i'm going to be able to leave it on for the full six hours because my friend and i got some movie tickets for later today i need to obviously wash it off before then it's basically fully dry now so i'm gonna put some clothes on make some breakfast. Maybe I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow. Good morning. It is the next day. My tan is fully developed. Let me show you guys. It looks so, so good. Like such a natural tan does not look crazy. The smell is also a lot better than other self tanners that I've tried. It definitely still has that like self tanner smell. No matter what self tanner you use, it's always gonna have that slight like smell to it. Definitely recommend it. I'm about to do my lashes. Just got a new pack of ooh, some of my favorite lash clusters to use. It's a form of self care for me. 
me. Like it makes me feel good, it de-stresses me. And also I can take them off and take a break whenever I want to. It's a fraction of the price also, that's very much a plus. These are the ones that I've been using lately. They're the B&Q lashes. I just ordered these from Amazon. They're the 40D 9 to 16 millimeter ones. Comes with tweezers, a spoolie, lash remover, and the bond and seal. Let's get started, shall we? I'm also drinking a protein shake. I did abs this morning. Protein shakes are honestly the easiest way for me to get protein in because I'm just, I suck when it comes to making time to make meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Or sometimes like my meals just, they don't have enough protein in them. So protein shakes help me intake as much protein as I should be taking. I have been feeling so good this year. I know it's just the beginning, but I'm just, I feel very motivated. I feel very, um, What's the word? What's the word? Optimistic. A couple of my goals I've been already like sticking to even from the end of December. Consistently working out, which I'm really proud of. Whether it's at the gym or if I don't have time, like I will always fit a workout in even if it's 30 minutes. I'm gonna do I think 14s on the ends and then like work my way in. And making sure to take my vitamins every single day. I have been really on top of that too and I've been feeling really, really good. Another one of my goals this year is to wake up early lately i've been waking up at eight which is when the sun actually rises i feel like eight o'clock is a good time for me it gives me enough time to get my morning routine done next one of my goals is to read at least 26 books this year last year was honestly kind of sad i think i only read like eight books so we're gonna aim for 26 this year that's like at least two books a month some months sprinkle in an extra one it's definitely an achievable goal i just have to make time to sit and read i'm literally almost done with my second book this month after reading a good girl's guide to murder i really really enjoyed it so i was like okay i need to read good girl bad blood which is the last one that i read really enjoyed it i feel like it wasn't as good as the first one but it was still it was still good and now this one is the last one it's definitely longer there's a lot more details to it it's insane it like kind of brings everything full circle and then my other book that i have for this month is this one it's called the last invitation also another crazy thriller i'm actually really really excited to read this one it seems really interesting i'll update you guys on my instagram if you guys want to know what i end up thinking about this one i also wrote down take any and every travel opportunity this is something that's like on literally everybody's list is just to travel more i feel like it's a good goal to have every single year i want to kind of make it a goal for once a month to go somewhere it doesn't matter if it's a road trip somewhere close or if i'm flying somewhere so far i have something planned for end of january taking a little road trip and beginning of february my friends and i booked a cabin so we're taking a little weekend getaway together march always is like the perfect month to go to mexico so i'm really aiming for mexico in march i want to do something for my birthday in april don't know what i'm doing yet one of my big traveling goals though i really really want to go to france i want to go to province france i have like a whole board on pinterest of just beautiful spots and i've been looking at like different airbnbs like i'm just i'm really trying to manifest it for myself because i really really want to go the only problem with that is that like i feel comfortable traveling alone when it's in the u.s but traveling to a different country by myself is kind of terrifying i feel like i would need someone to come with me i don't know yet so we'll just see what happens with that so of course with that one of my other goals is to learn french i really want to take the time to learn a new language this year i took french in high school but i've forgotten absolutely everything that i learned so i have my first layer of lashes down that's what it looks like i'm gonna go in and add some more volume. A couple of 16s on the outer corner. For the first layer, for those of you that want to know, I did three 14s, two 13s, two 12s, and one 10 on the inner corner. Two 16s to put on the outer corners. Then I'm taking a 14 and putting it kind of like in between a 14 and a 13. And then I'm gonna take another 14 and I'm putting it in between, kind of in between the 13 and 12. That's basically like my go-to lash map and this is what it looks like. 
My last goal basically is to meet new people slash make new friends. That was one of my goals last year. And I feel like it's just good to have that goal every year because I feel like it just brings in a lot of opportunities. Accomplishing those goals, no matter how big or small they are, like it just feels good. Okay, lashes are all done. It literally takes me like 10, 15 minutes to do these. And you just look good and ready to go from the moment you wake up. I look so good. Oh my god, I'm stunning, really. I am all over the place today. I am so scatterbrained right now. Oh, my nails are done. I got them done yesterday. I just went for my go-to French tip, minimal, clean girl. I love French tips. It always makes me feel like put together, clean, fresh. I feel so much better already with my nails and my toes finally done. I just decided to get like a little pink bow on the middle finger with a little pearl. My middle fingers are extra pretty. Today is one of the days where I really do need coffee. This is what happens when you go off of your routine. Last night, I actually decided to stay up a lot later because I decided to watch the movie Joker for the very first time. I know, shocking. When movies are really overhyped and I don't watch it when the hype is going on, I just feel like it's too late. So I just didn't ever end up watching it. I'm doing a Caudalie Vino Perfect peeling mask. So I came across that and I put it on. One of the best movies by far that I've ever seen. It was so so freaking good, sad, disturbing. I think it was on Netflix that I watched it. I don't know. Joaquin Phoenix is just, I knew that it was gonna be good because he is a really, really good actor and he's been in so many other movies that I've really, really enjoyed. I knew his acting was gonna be phenomenal. Stayed up really late watching that and I also had a couple glasses of wine while staying up watching that. So I think that's what messed me up. When my alarm went off this morning, I was like, I, I can't do this, like I need extra sleep. So I just kept hitting snooze. Now, hopefully this coffee helps. Usually when I wanna have, when I wanna have, usually when I want to have interesting dreams or crazy dreams or like spooky dreams, I'll watch a scary movie before I go to bed. I know it may sound insane to some people, but like that just makes your dreams more fun, you know? I had the weirdest dreams ever, like dreams that I've never had in my entire life. They weren't scary, but they were just really weird. Like the vibe was really weird. So my first dream, I think it was like, I was in Mexico, like visiting my extended family. I have nothing to back that up. Like that's just what it felt like in my dream. So I was sitting at a table and across from me were one of my aunts and one of my cousins, like a girl cousin. They don't look like any of my aunts or any of my cousins, but in my dream, like it was an aunt and a cousin. For some reason, my aunt was like, can I ask you a question? And I was like, sure. And she was like, what is it about wearing a bra that you don't like? Um, weird topic for discussion at the table, but okay. Personally, in my opinion, I just prefer not to wear bras because one, my girls are already small. So fortunately for me, I can get away with not wearing a bra a lot of the time. Two, bras are just uncomfortable. We're just unfortunately over sexualized. And if we're cold and you can see it through our shirt, it's inappropriate, but if you can see it through a guy's shirt, it's fine. They don't have to wear a bra, they don't have to cover anything. So I'm telling them this and I'm explaining to them it shouldn't be anything that's like crazy or inappropriate or whatever. They both look at me and they just start laughing, dying laughing. Like I just told the funniest joke on earth. And I'm just sitting there like, After they finish laughing, they start crying, like tearing up, full on crying. My cousin like can't even look at me. She's just so distraught. My cousin goes, it's just so sad. And my aunt goes, just so sad, like how you see the world and how you think. And you must have gone through something so traumatic for you to, to think that way. And I was like, what? Like these two ladies are full on gaslighting me. Like my thoughts and opinion are just so crazy out of this world that it just doesn't make any sense. Like it's just so sad. So that happened. That was really weird. It was so random. Like the people in it, the setting, usually my dreams, they have some sort of like similarity to each other. I have a lot of dreams in the same settings. I have a lot of dreams with the same like type of vibe. I have a lot of dreams with the same type of plot, I guess. My second dream, I was at this lady's house. 
she lived there with her two like young children a dog and her husband i think that i worked for her i don't really know i think i was her assistant or something like that we were all getting ready my family was going to be invited like my extended family and everybody was going to come over to this house to have like some sort of like get together like celebrate something i don't know what she looks at me and she's like okay we need to give the dog a bath like can you go downstairs his dog shampoo should be down there and all the stuff that you need like i need you to help me do that while i'm like getting the kids ready so i go downstairs and her husband is down there and i'm like oh hi john i don't know what his name is and he comes over with a tequila bottle and like two shot glasses and he's like take a shot with me Oh, I'm just here to grab. I need to go give Bongo a bath. Like, I'm just here to get dog shampoo. I'm on the clock, John. I don't know why you think it's time to drink tequila. And he's like, come on, like the party's gonna start soon. Like we should start, you know, maybe pre-gaming a little bit. Just take a shot with me. Okay, John, I'll take a shot with you, sure. We're just down like in this basement, just like, cheering we take the tequila shot he leans in and makes a move and kisses me and i'm like john you have a wife john she's upstairs and she's my boss and this just can't be happening after that happens i go back upstairs okay that was weird we're never speaking about that again time goes by we're all like ready at this point my family gets there you know everybody's just kind of mingling they got their little champagne glasses and this other guy from the lady side of the family the lady that i worked for their family also came he also approached me and he was like flirting with me and stuff like that and i think we ended up kissing as well don't ask me this is just a dream and that guy also had a wife so i'm like what is going on this is crazy this is too much for me and throughout the whole party i'm like wandering around and i catch john just like looking at me they make it so obvious these two guys that something's going on with me that people start like finding out that i have kissed both of these two married men it just becomes like a huge thing i just remember my mom coming up to me and she was so pissed off at me she just started yelling at me and like first of all I'm not the one that's married. Second of all, I'm not the one that made a move and came over to me with a tequila shot and threatened me with a good time. So I'm over here getting pissed off because I'm like, this is not fair. Everyone's just like against me. For some reason, to leave this house, to get back on the road, you had to take a boat. I had to hop on a boat and drive the boat from the house to land so i can get to my car and leave i don't know how to drive this boat like i don't know what the hell i'm doing so i hop on this boat and my brother decides to join the bandwagon and he's like why are you yelling at mom why are you cussing at her you need to chill out and be respectful and i'm like you don't even know what's going on so i start arguing with him eventually i ended up getting away that's when i woke up but those are my dreams i'm actually really really loving this tan dude I'm really loving this tan, dude. Slept in my makeup last night and I didn't do my skincare. So now I have one, two, three little pimples and my skin's going crazy. I can't not wash my face one night. Give me a break. I went to go watch the new rom-com with Sydney Sweeney. My opinion probably is not valid when it comes to rom-coms because I actually hate most of them going into the movie i knew that i wasn't gonna like it i just went because my friend really wanted to go watch it and she dragged me along with her and i kind of wanted to go sit in a movie theater for fun so i don't like when movies are just too unrealistic it was a very mid rom-com in my opinion i don't know if you've gone to see it comment down below what your thoughts were on it because my friend enjoyed it but she like enjoys those types of corny movies it was just kind of dumb in my opinion <laughs> Out of five, I'd probably give that movie like a 1.5. I giggled like a couple times, so that's why it's a 1.5. I'm gonna go for a like soft glam type of look today. I'm still debating what app I should get to learn French on. If you've tried any that have actually worked for you, comment it down below. Let me know. How do you say please in French? In French, pleases. S'il vous plaît. Oh, I know that word. Do they say like s'il vous plaît or like s'il vous plaît? <laughs> that sounded exactly the same. How do you say I'm learning French in French? J'apprends le français. Je prends le français. Ouh! Ouh! Je prends le français. Je connais un peu le français. 
Je connais un peu le français. Yo, oh my god, I'm so good at this. I'll take an iced vanilla latte, please, in French. Je prendrai. Je prendrai un latte glacé à la vanille, s'il vous plaît. What? Je prendrai un latte glacé à la vanille, s'il vous plaît. Dude, seriously, I'm good at this. Je prendrai un latte glacé à vanille, glacé à la vanille. Je prendrai un latte glacé à la vanille, s'il vous plaît. Oh! Somebody stop me! How do you say you are a very handsome man? Tu es un très bel homme. Tu es un très bel homme. These are all very essential for when I go to France. Puis je vois de pâte. Pasta is pâte. Puis je vois de pâte, s'il vous plaît. Je veux avoir ton bébé. Je vais avoir ton bébé. Je vais avoir ton bébé. Je vais avoir ton bébé. Cringe! Bonjour, comment ça va? Très bien, merci. Et toi? I got this. I got this in the bag, guys. Maybe when I'm in France, I can do a trying to speak French for 24 hours video. Favorite highlighter of all time. We got the Rare Beauty Exhilarate Highlighter. Let's do brows. Anastasia Brow Freeze, of course. I'm gonna use this YSL palette. Well, these are the colors in it, which is perfect because I want like a mauve blush kind of eyeshadow look. Blend it out. Oh, wow, this is such a pretty shimmery shade. Okay, now I'm just gonna take an angled brush, dip it into this darker chocolatey brown, and we're gonna use that as a liner. Love, oh my gosh, this is literally the perfect soft glam look. Urban Decay Naked 2 lip liner, and the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. These two used to be my go-to lip combo in high school. Okay, I'm gonna go style my hair. I'm just gonna use like a blow dry brush to kind of sleek my hair down so that it matches the same texture as my extensions. Okay, so for my outfit, in light of it being semi sunny out today, I think I'm gonna wear this top. Cute little white fox pale yellow top with some bows. I was gonna do a long skirt, but the only long skirt that I have is kind of high waisted and that top isn't really cropped. So I think I'm gonna do these low rise jeans instead. The Fashion Nova. Melissa Midrise. <laughs> These have my name on them. It says Melissa Midrise seamed straight leg jean. It says midrise, but they're more of like a low rise. Pants are on. This is how they fit. I guess it is kind of midrise. I haven't tried this with long acrylics on, so let's see how this goes. I'm a little bit scared. So I just like pop it on the end of my ring finger. I pull this down and look that way. And then, voila! I'm about to go take some selfies! That is basically it for this glow up. I have to sneeze. Okay, it's gone. This is basically what the outfit looks like. These jeans are actually really cute. I've never worn them before. I literally just found them in my closet. They still have the tag on them. I need to get the bottoms tailored because they're a little long. Thank you so much for watching. Follow my social medias. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. I will see you in my next video.